Do you find yourself watching a thousand general tarot readings on YouTube wanting specific guidance for yourself and wishing you could just read the damn cards on your own? Keep watching for the number one reason people fail to read accurately for themselves and how you can succeed in making tarot cards work for you. intuitive. Today's video is all about helping you to feel confident and in the know around your own tarot deck so you get the guidance you need now without needing someone else to interpret them for you. Wow, what an exciting concept, right? I didn't always have confidence with reading for myself, let alone others. The system of tarot is huge and it can be very overwhelming to learn and master if you're using a traditional approach. I tried memorization, watching tarot readers' methods, and even listening to recordings of each card's meanings before bed to learn through osmosis, and I failed every single time. Want to know why? Because I was taking a scholastic, linear approach to the cards. I saw them as some mysterious task to be learned. I wasn't connecting with them emotionally or energetically. This is the number one reason why people fail at reading tarot for themselves. They don't build a personal relationship with their decks. So here's what we're going to talk about now. Connect with your deck. Spend time bonding with your tarot deck to establish a strong, energetic connection. Just like developing friendships, it takes time and investment in getting to know one another. It's not always as simple as opening up a new deck, shuffling them up, and pulling some cards. When I'm introducing myself to a new deck, I always make sure I've got some serious time to look at each card for a few minutes. I let it reveal itself to me. I take notice of colors, symbols, images, people's expressions, animals, numbers. I take time to meditate on each card. I ask it questions. If you see it as merely a mysterious piece of paper with art on it, instead of a trusted friend or mentor, you'll overlook the answers it has for you. For some decks, it's helpful to keep a journal handy to write out your first impressions of each card and any feelings or thoughts that come to your mind while you're looking at them for the first time. You can always refer back to your notes as you begin working with the deck. You may also want to commit to working to get to know your deck in this way for a few days before pulling cards for an actual reading. Tarot works to activate the subconscious energetic mind as well as the obvious messages we perceive in a visual way. Taking time to absorb their imagery individually really helps to bond your energy onto the deck. A strong bond creates trust. Like any good relationship, trust is key. If you don't trust the cards, you won't trust yourself to receive their messages accurately for you. If you want specific exercises and a community to do this with, join my membership, Tarot Intuitively. Learn tarot or deepen your practice the fun way. Enrollment opens on October 1st, 2023. We are all about creating a personal relationship with the cards and with each other using super cool exercises and experiments designed to help you create that trust bond. The link to join the waitlist is in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more chats all about things metaphysical, including tarot. I really enjoy the connection with you. Until next time, transform well.